A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. Pioneers who traveled to the western United States by covered wagon faced many hardships. The rough trails, the burning heat, thirst, hunger, and worst of all, the outlaws who roamed the new territory and robbed and plundered at will. It was during this period that the masked rider of the plains started his fight for law and order. No greater champion of justice can be found in the pages of history. No one could match his courage and daring. It was he more than any other man who brought peace and security to the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for showdown! Oh, Silver! Away! Sam Slocum with his wife and daughter were traveling along the prairie trail to their new home. They'd received a warning earlier in the day, but Sam refused to pay any attention to it, and... Don't you believe a word of what he said, Sophie. No, sirree, not a word of it. He didn't know what he was talking about, no how. Samuel, you're the stubbornest man. You never believe nothing unless you want to. Get up! Get along with you. Get along! Pa, I don't see why that man would have told us not to go near showdown without no reason. Why, he was just being grateful, giving us that warning. He was doing us a good turn to pay us back for that slab of bacon we spared him. Uh, pa, you know that's so. Like fun it is. You and your ma both, you're just alike. Every fancy story a stranger makes up, you got to swallow it whole. The first thing you got to learn is that folks out here tell them tall stories just for the fun of it. They don't expect to be believed. If, if you do believe them, why, they just think you're green. You might have been telling the truth, Sam. Uh... What's there for us to be scared of heading for showdown? Why, it was them two brothers he was telling us about. Them brothers he said was so awful hard to get along with. Now, what did he say the names were? The Tobins, he said, Ma. Lige and Abe Tobin. Uh-huh, that's the name. Uh, what kind of a man do you think I am? I ever give you reason to think I'd scare easy? But, Samuel, if we should lose our cash... The 1200 we still got left? Yes. Now, what makes you think we will? Oh, I don't know. A feeling. <laughs> you and your crazy notions. But I ain't always wrong. And I feel it so strong, I even dreamt it last <laughs> night. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> you just dreaming. Ma, Ma, look. Uh? What is it, Kate, honey? The town, don't you see it? It's coming to sight. It sure has. There's showdown. Take a good look at it, folks, because that's the town we're going to live close by. Gee. So let's get our salon. Move, you critters. Start making tracks before I climb down and boost you along with the toe of my boot. Get up. Get up there. Showdown, the town Sam and his family had sighted in the distance, was one of the most lawless in the territory. The Tobins, its leading citizens, made no pretense to honesty. Their word was law and those who differed with them paid for it. As a result, 
the Tobins did not hesitate to speak freely in public. And as Sam and his family neared the town, Lige entered the cafe looking for his brother, Abe. Barkeep, where at is Abe? Over the corner table, Lige. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see him. Hey, listen here. Golly, stranger. Lige is sure sore about something. You notice it? No, I didn't. I'm not acquainted with him. Huh? You don't know the Tobins? Say, you're a stranger here for fair. That's just like saying you never heard of the Apache Kid, or Russian George, or Wild Bill Hickok. Golly, I thought everybody had heard of them. I didn't say I hadn't heard of them. I said I wasn't acquainted with them. Oh. They do look angry. They're having quite a conversation. Ain't they, though? That food I ordered. Yeah? You can put it at the table over there. All right. I believe I'll sit down. Abe, I ain't fooling on Forget about that card game last night. And me cheating old Baldy. What if he did see me? He ain't gonna complain none. All right, all right. What's on your mind? There's a nester and his wife and girl riding this way. You sure? You bet I am. I met up with them. Not only that, but I told them about you and me, the Tobin brothers, and advised them as how a showdown might not be a real healthy place for them to settle. You warned them off in person? I never told them my name. They didn't have no idea I was one of the Tobin brothers. I was warning them again. Well, what's the use of getting so head up about a nester, more or less? Shucks, maybe they're bringing cash with them. Maybe they got something we could use. They got more than cash. What do you mean? They got papers giving them title to that homestead north of town. Bought it, huh? Sure. Bought it from that fellow who worked the land and got the deed for it. That one we'd run off a while back. And that means that nester holds title to the best part of our reign. Yeah? Well, he can't have it. That's just what I think. We ain't giving it up. I don't care if that nester bought the whole state. He's got to learn that around showdown, we're the law. We ain't to be crossed. Bigger on gunning for him? Yeah. What'd you find out when you talked to him? You got any cash? I reckon so. How much? I don't know exactly, but it's a sizable amount. I made out for the bar a slab of bacon from him so as to get him to talking. And he admitted he weren't hampered none for cash, which is a heap for a nester to say. <laughs> he uh, know how to play cards? I, I don't know. Well, if he does, we'll oblige him. <laughs> Which same will save us the price of lead. And if he don't, we'll teach him. <laughs> <laughs> and charge him high for the lesson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger who had come to showdown wearing a disguise hurried back to the camp he shared with his faithful Indian companion Tonto. He told him what he'd learned, and Tonto, acting on the masked man's instructions, left camp and rode toward the Slocum's homestead. When the Indian returned, he brought news. Oh, oh, scout, oh, oh, fella, you look as though you oh. learned something, Kimasabi. Slocum, Slocum, him make camp. I thought he'd be on his land by the time you got there. You kept close watch, huh? Tonto, watch him. See feller named Tobin come. One of the Tobins, huh? Which one, Lige? Oh, uh, other feller. Abe. Ah, uh, him act like friend. The more of his crookedness. What'd he say? Ask Slocum, go cafe. Meet other men in town. Make friend there. No threats? He didn't tell the Slocums they'd have to move on? No, him not threaten. That means they're not going to use force. They're going to use trickery. Well, perhaps two can play at that game. Ah. Uh. Time the Tobins learned they can't run this country. More than that, it's time they paid for all the crimes they've committed in the past. And them plenty crooked. And they've been so successful, they make no attempt to conceal it. And they must have known I could overhear them in the cafe. But they acted as though they didn't even notice me there. Mm, them not care. They're no sheriff in showdown. And that troop of soldiers that were sent after the Indians are not far from here. And I saw their camp. They must be on their way back to the fort. Not right. And all the Tobins in the world can't influence the soldiers. You've got plan? I believe I have. Tonto... Sam Slocum isn't so far from my build. Not right. You saw him today. Do you think you could get me a disguise so I could pass for him? Ah, uh, Tonto get him. Get clothes like him wear, too. Good. Both Abe and Lyons have each seen Sam Slocum just once. I don't think they'll be likely to notice any slight difference. Uh. And if they don't, Tonto, they're going to meet with a surprise. The Slocums were delighted with their new home and went to work at once. Sam was chopping firewood when his wife called to him. There now, Samuel. That ought to be enough kindling for now. No need to go tying yourself out the first day. 
<sighs> Sophie making kindling out here in the West is just as much of a chore as it was back home. <laughs> uh, just look around, though. Ain't this a humdinger of a place to settle? It's going to do first rate. Well, I should smile. When are you going to start building the house, Pa? Well, I thought maybe at first we could just add on to the cabin the fellow that proved up on this place, Bill. Uh-huh. So tonight, as long as that fellow that dropped in was nice enough to invite me, I figured I'd take a run into town and sort of get acquainted. And when I get acquainted, I'm going to hire some of them town fellows to come out here and help with the building. Oh, well, then we'd be finished that much sooner. Sure thing. We're going to have us a real place. Build a wing right down to the creek so as mall have water right beside the kitchen door. Oh, that'll be nice. And then maybe someday we can send east and get us a pump. <laughs> and then we can have water right inside the house. Wouldn't that be first rate, though? <laughs> sure would. We're going to have us a regular palace, kind of. Samuel, you're really set on going into showdown tonight? I reckon I am, Sophie. That Phil invited me. Said I'd meet up with all the important folks in town. Meaning them Tobins, I suppose. Oh. Maybe they ain't so bad. Anyhow, I've got to go in sometime. I might just as well be now as later. It'll be lonesome. Oh, now, Ma. We'll be all right. Oh, that feeling I've had. <laughs> there you go again. Dreaming. We're going to... Oh! Huh? What ails you? Kate, whatever. There. Huh? <laughs> Mask. Oh, Sam. Don't be frightened. Where'd well, you come from? What's your business here? Get the cash. I know you have money, but I'm not interested in it. And that should prove you have nothing to fear and that I'm not an outlaw. Then what are you doing I'm here? bringing you a word of advice. Advice? Yes. If anything should come up, if for any reason you need help, don't go to showdown. Where else will we go? Beyond that far ridge in the valley, there's an encampment of soldiers. They'll be there until morning at least. You you sound as though there, there's going to be trouble. I've warned you. Remember my warning. Here's over. Oh, that horse. Leaping lobsters. What a critter. Oh, it's wonderful. Steady, old fellow. Yep. Stranger, wait, you haven't said why. You'll know why later. Come on, Silver. Come on, old mama. That evening, Sam Slocum prepared to ride into town. As he mounted and swung down the trail, however... He did not know that two shadowy figures astride two powerful horses were drawn up beside the trail awaiting his approach. Sam should be long soon, Tonto. You wait. All right, you, you here? Yes. Quiet now, Silver. No noise until we're ready. You stay out of sight unless something goes wrong, Kimasabi. I don't want Sam to have any reason to suspect I'm not the person I claim to be. Ah, uh, Tonto, stay back. Stay back and keep watch. Uh. Here he comes. When I've finished, I'll ride away alone. You get back to camp and wait for me there with the disguise I must put on. Don't do that. No! What the roll? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't see what no... Out of the saddle, Slocum. That blindfold. Uh. Where's your coyote? Hold still. What are you doing? Now? First time seeing to it, you're securely tied. No, wait, let go. I, I said hold still. One more loop. Blast you. Now then, that does it. Struggle all you want. You won't get loose. I could only see you so as I could recognize you again. Get even. Now I'll see what you're carrying in your pocket. I ain't got nothing with me worth taking. Honest, I ain't. Now, I, I ain't know got differently. Nothing. The man who invited you to town this afternoon suggested that you take your valuables there for safekeeping. Where you do? Ah, uh, here we are. My cash, all our cash. There should be something more. You got it all. Now leave me alone. Doggone it, you'll pay for this. I'll find out who you are. And when I do, you sure wish you hadn't stole from Sam Slocum. This paper. Oh, no, no, not that. That's the deed to my homestead. I knew it was. Uh, that won't do you any good. No, you either, Slocum. And this should teach you a lesson. Uh, Listen. Next time you're warned to stay clear of showdown, take that warning. But don't the you The Tobins see... don't want nesters on their best range. Is that clear? The, the Tobins? And don't report this to the soldiers, or you'll get worse next time. Oh, if I could just get my hands on you. You won't. I'd... Now, repeat what I said. Don't trouble the Tobins again, and stay clear of the soldiers. Steady, boy. Hip. Hip. Yeah. You're leaving me here like this? You'll be able to work for you of those ropes. Come on, boy. Come on. Curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, having left Sam Slocum bound and blindfolded on the trail to showdown, hurried back to his camp to rejoin Tonto. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, oh, oh. You've got everything ready for the disguise, Kimosabe? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're disguised. Fine work. Now listen closely to me while I put it on. I'll have to get ready and talk at the same time. I've got to get to town as soon as I can. Uh-huh. Now first, Hunter, I want you to get back to the trail and make sure Sam is released. How to do that? Uh-huh. When he's free, make sure he goes to the soldiers. Uh, 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 me hear you tell him not go there. Because I figured it was the surest way of getting him to do it. <laughs> that right. <laughs> Hand me my gun, Stato. Uh, here. Here, gun. Uh, thanks. Uh, noted, all right. I may need them before I'm through. The Tobins are bad medicine. Oh, uh, you take heap big chance. I'll buckle them on. Yeah. Uh, how do I look? Am I getting the disguise right? Oh, uh, me fix them. Then you'll be all right. And take care, Tonto, because the slightest mistake may mean failure in my life. In the cafe at Showdown, Abe and Lige Tobin impatiently waited for their victim. They sat at a table in the midst of a group of their cronies. The latter... Aware of the plot to swindle Sam, we're enjoying the thought of fun in store. What time did fella say he'd show up, anyhow? He's late already, ain't he? <laughs> Maybe he's getting a crooked deck fixed huh. to cheat Abe and Lige with. It better be mighty crooked. Just ordinary crooked wouldn't be enough, would it? <laughs> Can't you fools keep your mouth shut? Uh, sorry, Abe. You don't figure anybody's warned them of our scheme, do you, Lige? Well, uh, we ain't kept it as quiet as we might have. Yeah, but who'd have the nerve to go against us? Nobody, I reckon. I don't savvy why he don't show up. Who's that coming? Yeah, that's him. Howdy, Slocum. We've been waiting for you. Oh, I was a little late. <laughs> I reckon you've met my brother Lige here. <laughs> Played sort of a joke on you, didn't I? Borrowing that slab of bacon off of you and warning you again my own self. <laughs> yes. Hey. Huh? What's the matter, Abe? Sam here. Somehow you look taller than when I seen you this afternoon. Yeah, that's so. A man looks different when he's working and when he's dressed for town. <laughs> Put on your Sunday go-to-meeting way of talking, too, didn't you? You talked as common as anybody when I've seen you before. <laughs> Shucks, you're among friends. You don't have to go so doggone formal-like. Thanks. Yeah, by the way. Yes? I suggested it might be a good idea for you to bring your cash and deed to town so it could be put in my safe. You do that? Well, I have them both with me. If you'd like to put them away now... Oh, there's no hurry about that. No hurry at all. Uh, care much for a card? Poker? Well, that's what me and Lige and the boys generally play when we play at all. <laughs> Which same ain't often. Well, I'd enjoy it. Well, then sit right down, friend. Sit right down. And if you find us just a mite rusty at the game, or not as slick with cards as you are, well... <laughs> Why, you won't get impatient and mad at us, will you? <laughs> of course not. Then, barkeep, bring us the chips and the cards. We're going to have a real sociable evening with our new friend. <laughs> uh-huh. A real sociable evening. The game in the cafe was played honestly enough during the greater part of the evening and on into the night. But one by one, the players dropped out until only the Lone Ranger and Abe Tobin were pitted against each other. The Lone Ranger dropped his cards to the table and said, You're having very good luck, Abe. Not so bad, not so bad. Got any more cash you're anxious to lose? I'm not anxious to lose. (laughs) Uh, Just my joke, Sam. Shucks, your luck's liable to turn most any minute now. Then my stack will start melting. Taking all the cash I brought with me. Yes, uh, that's too bad. Hey, didn't Sam say something about bringing the deed to his place along with him? Yeah, yeah so he did. Oh, it ain't worth much, though. Well, I didn't suggest playing for it. Oh, go ahead, Abe. Be a good sport. Give Sam a chance at what you took from him. You willing? If you are, I'll oblige you. <laughs> Just lay it out on the table here. There you are. Uh, how much you figure it's worth? Play a thousand dollars against that deed, or nothing. Then a thousand it is. 
There. Thousand even. One hand. One hand. And it's uh, my turn to deal. Very well. Go ahead. <laughs> Here they come. Lay them close, Abe. This is the one that counts. Biggest part of the night. Yeah, let me see what I got. We're playing this hand just like the last one, you know, Sam. Plain showdown, no drawing. Who's me? What have you got? Yeah, let's see yours first. It doesn't amount to much. A low pair. <laughs> and I got three of a kind. Three of a kind, fellas, again, a low pair. The cash and the deed is mine. Boys, this is just about the most profitable night of cards I ever spent. <laughs> Sam. Yes? That homestead you're on is mine, starting right now. You can bamboos first thing in the morning. If I find you staying on, you'll get moved with lead. One moment. Eh? This game isn't quite over yet, Abe. You mean you still got more cash? I mean, I'll just have a look at those cards up your sleeve. What the? Reach for your guns at your own risk. I'll outthrow any man in this room. I'll get him, boss. Not tonight. Oh, smash. You're not hurt. Stand back, all of you. Every man in this room is covered. Don't shoot. I won't unless I have to. But I'm taking that deed back. And you have the wallet with the money, Abe. Hand it over. This is the same as a holdup. Not when you cheated to win. The wallet. Take it. I will. Don't follow me. Sure, watch careful, Abe. He looks like he's just hankering to let fly. Don't come out here too fast. I may be waiting for you. The crook? He just about numbed my hand for life with that shot of his. He'll get fixed for this. Come on, oh, come on. There he goes. Now it's safe to follow. Come on, after him. Right, come on. He got the cash and the deed with guns. And that's just how we'll get him back. The Lone Ranger urged his horse to its greatest speed, rapidly outdistancing his pursuers. Once he stopped to get rid of his disguise and assume his mask once more. Then he raced on. The eastern sky grew light, and shortly afterward, Kate and her mother were preparing breakfast. Sam was sitting near them. <laughs> it's your fine day, honey. A fine day. How can you sit there and say such a thing after you spent the whole night away from home the way you did? <laughs> I'd think your conscience would be bothering you something terrible. <laughs> if you've still got one. Ain't nothing bothering me. There's something up shores my bone days. Kate, you go look and see if your pa's still got that cash in the deed with him. <laughs> Have you, pa? <laughs> sure thing. See him? Ain't had him long, but I got him. Uh, he's got him all right, ma. Right good thing he has. What's them Tobins like? Mm, they don't amount to much, honey. They're out and out crooks. You don't say. Yep. Fact is, if there'd ever been any law around here, they'd have been in jail years ago, with plenty of years ahead of them yet. Oh, then we're lucky to... We're likely to have trouble with them, with them living so close by. Oh, maybe, but I ain't worrying. Samuel, I declare I never seen you so funny acting before. <laughs> you got me beat. Ma, there's some horsemen coming along the trail. Oh, land sakes, and me in my old clothes. And look, one of them is the man we met on the trail yesterday. The one we lent the bacon to. Yeah, I reckon I better go meet him. <laughs> Samuel. I better you women folks keep back. Is there going to be fighting? Don't hurt to get ready. Kate, you go around back of the wagon, then stay there. Yes, No, 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 now, don't go there. What is it? What's back there you don't want seen? Samuel, you're going to have to do a heap of explaining for this day's work. Now, you are. Now, just do what I say, honey. Stay right where you are. There's the dirty crook. Oh, 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 oh. Don't move, you thief. Stand aside. You're all covered. Search the skunk, Lige. Let me be. I think it's on him, all right. Then take it away from him. Go on, hurry up. Yeah. Here's the cash and the deed right along with it. Samuel, they're stealing everything we've got. They ain't stealing. Now get off of this land. We ain't got no use for nesters. And especially we ain't got no use for nesters that tries to steal from us. Get and get pronto. You can't make me get off land that's mine. I suppose you didn't lose the land, the cash to us last night. You can't deny it. I can too. I was never near your place. I never lost nothing to you. You're worse than a horse thief for trying to dodge out of the truth. Ma, they've took everything from Pa. Stop him. Stop him. Don't let him get away. They won't. They won't. Almost right. You either, Abe. Tell your man to keep his hand from that holster if he doesn't want to get ventilated. What the? Who are you? Lieutenant Pearson. That forward man? Sure thing, sir. More soldiers, Ma. Look, a half dozen of them. Don't arrest us. This here Nestor you want to get. He held me up last night and robbed me. Last of... day, but told you before I wasn't near your place. If this man robbed you, Tobin, where did it happen and at what time? It was at my cafe. 
It happened just before sunup. That's so, Lieutenant. Pretty thin, man. But I tell I'm you... in a position to know your story can't be true. Because Sam was with us at the time you named. No. No, that can't be right. There's something wrong here. You yeah, can't... Yeah, there's something wrong, sure enough. And you and your brother are it. We ain't... The got... army's taken over now. You're all through. Hey, Blige, the soldiers must be lying. Sam could That'll be enough there. of that kind of talk. Sergeant. Yes, sir. These are those men get on their horses. If they object, you'll know how to handle them. We're putting them under arrest and taking them to camp. I don't trust them in showdown. I'll handle them, sir. It'll be a downright pleasure, sir. All right, mount pronto. Or I'll skin the tan off your faces with this shooting iron. Uh, we're mounting. Uh, well, thanks for the favor, Lieutenant. You fixed things up fine. And thanks for the tip that these men would try this stunt. Yep. All right. On! Mr. Samuel, I can shake you good. <laughs> what have you been up to? How'd you happen to go where them soldiers was instead of to town? <laughs> Why ain't you told me all the things you've had up your sleeve? I'd like oh, to no, shake no, your Samuel. Sophie, now. Here comes the fellas that can explain more about it than I can. <laughs> That same masked man. And a redskin, Pa. Oh, 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 oh. I see that everything worked out all right for you, Sam. <laughs> Thanks to you, it did, stranger. Can't you tell me anything, Samuel? You're driving me plumb wild. <laughs> I don't think there's much to explain, Mr. Slocum. You see, the Tobins simply made a mistake in identity. <laughs> and that mistake brought them to justice. <laughs> The slickest thing I ever seen. <laughs> and Sam loaned some money and a deed overnight to catch a couple of crooks. Stranger, I sure wish I could tell you how grateful I am. There's no Lord. need for that. Ready, Kimosabe? Uh, you ready? Get him up, Scout. Hail Silver Hawaii! you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.